You're watching PPC TV. And we're watching you. Uh, right now. We can see through your telly too. Yes, we did see you do that. And we're telling. Ha! <laughs> Rise and shine, brother mine! Pinky, you made me breakfast! And you picked out my clothes! <laughs> Did I choose the right outfit? Let's go! <laughs> ready, get ready, get set, let's go! It's the Pinky and Perky Show! This is a great day The greaterest The kind of day nothing can spoil Ooh, I just had a spooky chill run down my spine What can it mean? Oh, sorry I forgot to take this out Oh, look, it's Pinky and Dinky. Oh, Pinky and Perky. Look, why exactly don't you like us? We made a list. Oh. Lads, lads, I've got a great new idea for your show. Origami Extreme. First, I will fold a giant paper bird of peace. Tuck in a bow. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh. I've got a good feeling about today's show. <gasps> oh, sorry. I seem to have crushed someone's sad little car. This is the TV place, right? PPC TV? Home of the Pinky and Perky show. I'm Penelope Saddleback. Uncle Percival said I could be your new presenter. Uncle who? Uncle me. Make sure Percival. it happens. You want to be on television, don't you, Penelope, dear? That's right, Uncle P. Who's the best uncle in the world? I am, my little cherub. And you love me, don't you? Yes, I really, really do. But she can't just become a presenter, Sir Percival. It takes more than talking rubbish and acting like idiots. Right, guys? Wow. What he said. Guys! Huh? Oh. <laughs> I can teach her to be a top presenter in no time. And I can do it quicker. That's decided, then. Toodaloo, Uncle P. Don't worry about it. I always get my way. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about today's show. <laughs> get off me! <laughs> if you want to be a top presenter, you've got to learn from a top presenter. And you know one. Ta-da! <laughs> What would you like to ask me? So this entire show is just one brilliant idea of yours after another? Sometimes I'm so great, I'm jealous of myself. The first time I saw you, I knew you were the smart one. <laughs> and artistic. Top presenters need a good public image. I'll paint your promotional portrait. The first time I saw you, I knew you were the talented one. <laughs> love me, love me. I'm fabulous. Hmm. <laughs> now, what was I saying about me? Ta da! Ew! Oh. <laughs> oh dear. All this. What do you call it? Work is making me peckish. I'd love a blueberry muffin. Ah! A blueberry! Ah. A muffin! Can I have you all on set for... <laughs> What's up with them? <laughs> Looks like I'll have to do this bit on my own. <laughs> okay, 
In this item, Pinky and Perky throw food at famous people. Oh, it's not much, but it keeps me on the telly. Honey, my nails cost more than your house. I am not getting them near those pies. I'll just tell Nunky Poo that your nails won't let you be a TV presenter. Hmm. Don't tell me. Your nails made you miss. started without us. You ran out on me. Oh, well, I don't know what her problem is. I still really want to work with you. With you. Oh. Sir Percival. Oh, oh, what's going on down there? Oh, not again. Oh, oh. <laughs> What on earth is going on here? This is a TV studio, not a fairground ride. Penelope is doing really well. This uh, is all our fault. Uh, she's a brilliant presenter. In fact, she could do the whole show on her own. A fine suggestion. Penelope, you are the new star of the Pinky and Perky show. Huh? Did he? Is she? It's showtime! <laughs> this shouldn't work, but it does. <laughs> hey! She's Pinky and Perky. Who are we? Oh, I could be Kevin. Kevin's a good name. Pinky, you sausage. You gave her our show. By arguing, you both gave her your show. Well, now we want it back. Right, Pinky? Right. I don't want to be Kevin. She wants to be the star of the whole show? So make her the star of the whole show. So, uh, hi and... You know, welcome to... me. <clears throat> We're going to help you. You're our special friend. Go away. This is my show now. Read, Read these. these. Read, Read these. these. <clears throat> <clears throat> And what a great show I have, with a great guest, me. So, Penelope, it's great to be here. How are you enjoying your new job? I love show business. Well, I've heard rumours you're finding it difficult. How dare you! Come on, come on, admit it. Count. And now a phoning competition. <laughs> Who is it? It's me. I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. This isn't the professional performance I was expecting. Run the cartoon! The Amazing Adventures of Power Pig and Porker, episode 00000001. The greatest episode ever. It really is. I'm not kidding. You should watch it. Thank you. Quack. 
crime fighting's boring. Let's go shopping. Those slingbacks look lovely. I hope they have them in my size. I'm drawing as fast as I can. Next up is the golden potshot. Viewers call in and tell you where to aim. Hit the bullseye and Pinky will be fired from that seat through the hoop. And the viewer wins a prize. Oh, I can do that. And there's just one more thing. Go ahead, caller number one. Go right, 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 right! I mean, I mean left! Left, 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 left! Enough of it! Uh, make up your mind. Go up and down. Then right, then left. No, 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 that's too, that's too much, too much, too much! Go back, go back, back, right, that's it, that's it! Back a bit further, back a bit further! The shoe shops are still open. Uh, board now. Board, board, board. <laughs> board, 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 board. Penelope? Yes, Uncle? You're fired. Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> and run the end titles. You've been watching the Pinky and Perky Show. Today's secret word was... Nunky Poo. And the moral was... This show stinks. Television stinks. I want to do something cool and important. <gasps> like modelling. Why, I can fly! Oh! You're watching PPC TV. Yo, hear what I'm saying. Feel the heat of the street in the words I'm relaying. I'm not really pulling this off, am I? Here's the Pinky and Perky show. Percival. Of, of, of course, Sir Percival. The boss wants today's show to have a real buzz. I'll order one right away. Pinky, that's a shoe. I knew that. Oh, look, it's Lurky and Smirky. Oh, Pinky and Perky. Good morning, guys. I hope you thought of something big for today's show. Oh. Sir Percival's waiting. <laughs> Boss, uh, we've we've had some brilliant ideas. Chop chop. Special delivery for Pinky. Oh, that'll be the bees I ordered. <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> well, you said he wanted a buzz. What magnificent pink bloomers! And they're the perfect way to attract the gentle honeybee to your garden. <laughs> Vera, are you all right? This is the work of those pigs! Lads, lads, I've got a great new act for your show. The world's first entirely accurate weatherman. It will be a lovely sunny day. Oh, a buzz. A buzz. Run for your lives! 
That's only a wee shower. I believe those belong to you. And now for a cloud of fog to befuddle their little bee brains. Frozen humbugs. Right, that's enough show business. <laughs> Let's get you to your studio. No, Tar, Wilberforce. Sorry, lad. I guess they didn't see your star potential. Dark cloud and torrential rain. Hold still, my little inflammation. Ow! The healing power of plants will soon soothe your swellings. I'm going to <laughs> roast those pigs. Oh, please, Vera, don't stress yourself. Look, an amusingly large vegetable. Big deal, Eric. It's a cucumber. No, it's a courgette. This is a cucumber. That's ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as my watermelon and my gourd. All thanks to this new plant growth formula they want us to demonstrate on our show. Hmm. Ah, Eric, do you realise what this means? Now we can wipe out hunger and feed the world? No, the world can phone for pizza. Pinky and Perky want something big on their show. Well, we're going to help them get exactly what they want. That's very nice of us, Vera. Oh, it won't be nice, Eric. It won't be nice at all. <laughs> Join in, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> What can we have on the show that no one's seen before? Ants in pants? Too small. Figures in knickers? Too rude. Something massive kids will love. Gunge. Great gloopy globs of it dropped on the world's biggest star. Ugh. I am not getting covered in gunge. <laughs> Boss. Oh, 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 show me the gunge. Ah! Come on, come on. Gunge. Gunge? The perfect vehicle for our revenge. And the best bit is, we'll make them do it to themselves. That's very gungy, Gunge. What's it made from? It's a secret, but may involve school dinners. Oh, and I get it all over my head. It's not so bad, once you get used to it. I am not getting covered in Gunge. You'll have to do better than that, boys. Every kid's show has gunge. Sir Percival wants something big. Big, 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 big. All thanks to this secret growth formula. We'd better get it back under lock and key before it falls into the wrong hands. Who, Who knows, knows what, what might happen, happen if it did? did? Vera, we're really sorry about the bees. Please accept these as an apology. A drawing of a box of chocolates. And there's a car, a game station and a week in Belgium too. As Queen of Daytime TV, I grant you my royal pardon. You may kiss my hand. Eric, it appears we have been the victim of a cruel deception. I do hope they don't do anything foolish with that formula. <laughs> with this, I will rule the world. Don't you mean make the most mucky muck ever seen on television? Uh, yes, of course. Just one tiny drop and... We'll outgunge every show on TV! Pinky and Perky on set, please! <laughs> and just to be certain... Someone's looking very pleased with themselves. Really? Can we meet them? We've got our something big! I know! I can see it! Huh? It's <laughs> the Perky and Pinky Show. Uh, we've got lots of great stuff for you today. And here comes some of it now. 
It's, it's OK, kids. Don't panic. It's just a special effect done with computers. And holograms. And a gums monster who might eat children. Pinky, you sausage. I was trying to keep them calm. Oh, I've got just the thing. Run the cartoon! The Amazing Adventures of Power Pig and Walker. Episode 12. The Gunch Monster Who Might Eat Children. Oh, this is a good one. Listen to those screams. Feel that terror. And that's just me. I think this is the end. No, there's still two minutes left to the end of the episode. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, it's all boggy! <laughs> this is pigging great! <laughs> Curse is foiled again. Oh well, if we're quick, we'll still catch afternoon tea at the garden centre. This isn't over. Special delivery of extra strong growth serum for Vera Vexen. <laughs> Grow, my mighty mound of muck. Grow until you fill the entire studio! Mommy! Now there's something you don't see every day. Oh! Eric! Do something! I love you, oh. Mommy! We must save Vera! Hooray for Power Pig and Porker! They've frozen the monster with their freezing bread! <laughs> Cartoons have all the answers. Come on, Perky. Huh? Huh? <laughs> we are not paying for that. that. Quick, we need you. Ooh. Eric, do something. <laughs> right, you know what we have to do? Explain things really simply so the viewers understand what we're up to. This little piggy hits a button. This little piggy pokes a duck. This thingy what's it does what it does and saves Vera Vixen from the muck. Freezing cold conditions. Huh? Huh? Oh, the freezing cold conditions. A lovely sunny day. It's freezing. It's freezing. It's froze. Pinky? Fetch, you thought that was me. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe what I'm seeing. Sir, Sir Percival, I, I can explain. Uh, Pinky had this really stupid idea, and... Um... And it's brilliant. A jelly large enough to feed the entire audience? <laughs> That's the kind of big thinking this show needs. Come on, everyone! Tuck in! <laughs> And run the end titles. You've been watching the Pinky and Perky show. Today's secret word was... Good. And the moral was... When late the variable. Come on, boys. Tuck in before it's all gone. Eric! Perky, I think my food disagrees with me. It's the Pinky and Perky Show. All together. It's the 
Escribiendo en la